hakuna haja ya ya mahakama kufanya majumuzo na Ruto. Mahakama ma, ma, imesema kwamba kama we ukubaliana na uamuzi wa mahakama wewe fanya kata rufaa. Tayari there is an active court case in court which uh, I mean the court has made a ruling court has made a ruling and the executive has appealed and the matter is before the court is supposed to for this man the chief justice is talking about having a dialogue with the executive which has got a, 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 an active case in the court that is how to compromise justice let the judges do their thing independently. We want to add, tell the, the, the Chief Justice not to compromise the position of the court. She already took a position. There's no need for dialogue. If I have a case in the court, I don't need to go and negotiate with the, the judges. There's no need for negotiations. Either I am right or I'm wrong. And that is black or is white. That's what it is. But if you want to compromise the judiciary and negotiate with the executive for this kind of dispute, then they're saying you are yourself going to compromise the country. Kenyans must stand firm so that we protect these institutions that were created in this constitution. You have the executive the judiciary, the legislature, and the independent commissions, as we see, and let them remain independent and interdependent. This is the point I wanted to make today with regard to the judiciary. But in the world, we have a chairman. We have a chairman. We have a chairman. We have Chama ndiyo mkuki, chama ndiyo uta, chama ndiyo mshali ya kushika hatamu ya utawala katika tepo litu. Kwa hivu tinataka chama yeti hivu na nguvu kuwazia mashinani huku chini. Chini. Alamu vile vile sara yetu iubiriwe kwa wanainchi wetu. Sisi kama chama cha odi ya mtuku na sara sanifu. Sara ya ujamaa ya kidemokrasia kwa kimombo inaitwa social democracy we are a social democratic movement which believes in fairness in terms of distribution of resources in the country we are saying that we want to use the private sector for wealth creation but we must also see that the wealth that is created is proportionately distributed among the population of the country. We are very strong in terms of protection of human rights. Nasema kuna haki tano muhimu ya binadamu. Haki ya kwanza ni haki ya kuishi, the right to life. Haki ya pili, ni haki ya kupata chakula, the right to food. Kila mkenya mpaka awe na haki ya kupata chakula kama hii ya kuhu. Ananja. Tatu, the right to health. Haki ya usala, ya 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 afya. Right to health. Kila mkenya, kama yeye ni mgonjwa, ana pesa au ana pesa, aweze kupata matibabu ya kutosha. Nne, ni the right to education. Haki ya kupata elimu. Kila mtoto mbae mzaliwa katika taipa letu, wazazi wana pesa, wana pesa, awezo kupata elimu sawa sawa, kuanzia nursery, kupitia primary, secondary, mpaka chuki kuu. Tano, right to work. Kila mkenya mbae ya mpika umri ya kupanya kazi, awezo kupata ajira, ili awezo kupata riziki, ya kupata chakula ya kudulisha watu yaki, familia yaki. Haya ni haki mhimu zaidi katika chama chitu cha ODM. A social democratic movement. 
Kwa hivyo hao wandishi wa habari pia mara kwa mara wanasema ati oh vyama vya Kenya vina sera 